In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform simple statistics on a region of interest in a graph window. How to edit data points such as masking inside the ROI box. And how to view or output the statistics for points both inside and outside of the ROI. We begin by looking at a graph, and to open up the gadget, we need to click on the Gadgets menu, go down to Cluster, and the Cluster Gadget dialog will pop up. This is Preferences for the gadget. The first thing we're going to do is change the shape from rectangle to circle. When we click OK, we're going to see a circle on our graph. This is the region of interest. Now as I move this, you can watch in the dialog above the statistics will be output. The data that's covered by the ROI box is the data points that the statistics are performed on. There's a separate entry for each set of data, drug A, drug B, and placebo, as well as all combined plots. We can click the Output Statistics Report button, which will then send the results Instead of just displaying in the dialog itself, it'll output these and show them in the script window. The results log. We can also click the Go to Report Worksheet button, which will activate the cluster workbook. So the results were also sent to this workbook here. You can compare the results in the cluster workbook to the values that you see in the cluster gadget dialog. Now what we're going to do is mask the placebo data points within the ROI. And to do that, you use the mask functionality within the cluster gadget itself. The first thing we need to do is uncheck drug A and drug B. We're only going to be working with the placebo data. As we uncheck, notice the rows in the table inside the dialog become grayed out. So the only one that is active, it's kind of highlighted there in white, it's not grayed out, is the placebo. I can now click the Mask Data Points button and click on points inside the ROI box, and it will mask just those placebo data points. And now with them masked, no statistics will be performed on those data points. Okay, masking excludes that particular uh, data or those data points from any analysis you would do. In this case, we're using the gadget here. So if we click the Output Statistics Report button, again, it's going to output to our script window, our results log, and also it will append, it will create new rows, and append those to the cluster workbook. Again, you can compare what we see inside the cluster gadget dialog itself with what is reported in the newly generated workbook there, cluster. Now if you go to Settings Preferences, it'll open up the Cluster Manipulation Preferences dialog, which is basically the same dialog we started with when we first chose the gadget from the menu. If you go to Calculation, you need to check this Calculate Outer Points checkbox. Upon checking it, you can then click on the Outer Points tab, and that will show you the stats for data points outside of the ROI box on the graph. Again, we can output the updated statistics report, and it will append new rows in our workbook. The statistics are also output to the script window and the results log we see on the right, and you may have noticed on the left, new rows were appended to that existing workbook. Okay, so the first time you output results, it generates that book, and then it will continue to append to that workbook. 
So you see for inner and outer points for drug A, drug B, and placebo, we have the statistics. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. To see more videos, please visit our website, www.originlab.com.